Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Jackie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'd like to share with you a little haul that I made. Uh, just uh, one item that I bought from Barnes & Noble yesterday. And this is a gift from me to me for Christmas. And this is a different type of video that I, that I usually do. Uh, I usually do haul videos or maybe a tutorial or a project share. But this is more of a review of a new Bible that I bought uh, yesterday. Uh, I'm trying to change my life around for the year 2021. Uh, I've struggled uh, all my life uh, with anger issues and uh, selfishness and and it just it's just too chaotic now in the world there's too much negativity i'm trying to get rid of all that in my life so i'm trying to uh get closer to god uh learn the word of god and uh hopefully apply whatever it is that i read here into my life uh i've been doing this already for a couple of months i've been listening to joyce meyer's um sermons as well as joel Osteen. Uh, those two are great uh, preachers. They, they, they really, especially Joyce. She has hit it right under the nose with me with uh, certain issues that I've dealt with in my life. Uh, I didn't really grow up in a happy home. Uh, I was uh, basically, you could say, neglected, or I wasn't loved the way that I should have been loved. And um, I usually don't share. Uh, my personal problems out there, but I thought that it would be uh, that way you know why I'm doing what I'm doing. So um, let's get to it. So let me show you. Um, so yeah, so hopefully 2021 will be a better year. I'm going to try my very hardest to control my temper, to control my anger, uh, to control negativity, to just get rid of negativity from my mind, from my thoughts, from from everywhere okay so that's why i'm turning to the bible and to the word of god so that it could bring me closer so uh this is why i say it's a different type of, of uh, video that i'm doing and this is not intended for kids so um and this is no way sponsored by anyone i bought this uh, bible for myself to myself so um this bible is from tyndale and it's a devotional Bible. Let me show you guys here. It's called Thrive Creative Journaling Devotional Bible. And it's from Tyndale. So if anyone's interested in getting this, I am going to show you the ISBN number. So that you can order it if you want to order it. Or you could probably look at Barnes & Noble and find it there. So this is a beautiful, and I mean a beautiful book. Simple, but it is beautiful. I love the color. I love the flowers. And if you look close enough here, you'll see the texture here on the book. And it's a hardcover bound. So um, this I probably won't be taking it with me all the time. Uh, to my job. I do have another one that's uh, more of a fox leather type and I carry that in my bag and that sometimes is a little bit heavy but uh, I like that Bible too. It's more of a uh, a journaling Bible as well. It's from Inspire and uh, that one has images that you can draw or color and also has margins on the side so you can make notations. So, and this one too. So, uh, let's get started. Let me show you. So, the inside cover, it's this beautiful blue cover. And I love it. I love this color paper. I, oh, yeah, and it's pretty thick. You can hear that. And I love it. And then this is the front page, which is just, uh, says, presented to, meaning who, who are you giving this Bible to? From who, on what occasion? I put there for Christmas because it's a Christmas present for me, from me. And then the date that I bought it, which was yesterday. And then the bottom here gives you a small little scripture. It says, the Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. So, and then look at the beautiful page. Isn't that gorgeous? I love those little flowers. So here we have another scripture from Psalm 23. 
and I'm not going to read it, but I will scan it through. So if you want to read it, you could just uh, pause this video and read it. It's a beautiful uh, scripture. And then over here we have like a, a, a like an intro, like a letter, or uh, I don't know how to say an introduction or introducing the Bible. So um, this is more like a letter, a beloved daughter of the king. So this is like God is writing to you uh, regarding this Bible. And here are small little quotes. This is a nice, also, these are nice uh, little quotes. It says here, God is your father, faithful father. And then it says here, when you are in a storm, he is your captain. When you are in a fire, he is your firefighter. When you are drowning, he is your lifeguard. When you are attacked, he is your refuge. When you are accused, he is your defender. When you are in need, he is your provider. When you are overwhelmed, he is your peace. So that's beautiful right there. And, that, and this is why I bought this Bible. Um, I want to feel at peace. Um, give me one second, guys. Sorry about that. My cat just knocked down one of the uh, ornaments from my tree and was playing with it. <laughs> so I had to take it away from her. But uh, anyway. Uh, so here is the title, Thrive, a Journaling Devotional Bible for Women by Sherry Rose Shepherd. And this is a New Living Translation Bible. So it's an easier Bible for uh, people to understand. I know some Bibles are kind of difficult to understand because of the language, so they make it as easy as possible. And here's the copyright section. Then you have your contents here. So you have the Old Testament and the New Testament. It tells you where to look for it, what pages. And the page here is pretty, it's pretty thick. I mean, it's not that thin. It's a nice weight to it, so um, it's not that thin. And then look, look at this. Look at the beautiful uh, blue uh, edges that they have. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous paper. You can see right here uh, that all the pages have that blue edge to it. And then here is the rest of it. Alphabetical listing of Bible books. Okay. And then this is a note to readers regarding the Bible. And then the contributors to the Bible and then here you have some uh, it, this is an introduction to the Bible it's telling you how to pray to uh, the, and it gives you tools also to help you understand uh, better understand the Bible and to help you study and apply what you read in your own life so it's giving you all these tools it's telling you to live what you're reading so um, it's telling you to just uh, um, whatever you read to just apply it to your life uh, it also tells you to share what you're reading so if you want to share with friends or family uh, a certain scripture that you like you can always uh, uh, type it and uh, print it out and, and uh, frame it if you want and put that in the room or something like that or maybe you can make like a little uh, a book of favorite uh, scriptures or verses and uh, carry that with you um, it's also telling you uh, to read it out loud. It's always good to read it out loud. Um, copy it, meaning that if there's a, a, a certain scripture or verse that you like, copy it, write it down. Uh, summarize it. So whatever you've read, or uh, you can also summarize it in your own words. Paraphrase it, divide it. So it has all these uh extra tools here that you could use to help you better understand the Bible. Now here's a reading plan for 365 days. Now you don't have to follow the plans. You don't have to start with January 1st, 2nd, 3rd. You don't have to go chronologically in the Bible. You could start anywhere within the Bible. Um, if you want to start at Mark or at Daniel or at Deuteronomy, it's up to you. And uh, once you read the passage, all you have to do is just mark it off in these little boxes that they provide. And that's it. And again, it's got the beautiful uh, flowers and the beautiful design 
on this so it goes all the way from january all the way to the end of december of this year uh, 2021 I, I bought it for 2021 so um, and then here is the index to the features so here if you're having certain issues like with anger or with faith or with healing anything like that at all forgiveness i i have uh anger issues so i, I have to be re i need to read these passages right here which i did start already um if you have any difficulties with forgiving people it gives you here uh, pages that you could go to and read on that uh, it has about everything about doing good about fear favor if you need some courage about friendship god's word all that gratitude i mean it has a lot a lot a lot so whatever issues that you're having uh or that you need to deal with like patience uh, a lot of people have pay, uh, problems with patience being patient and all that stuff i too have to read that passage uh patience <laughs> so i have a lot to read here because i have a lot of uh issues <laughs> You guys don't know about it, but I, I, I do. And it has to do with me uh, growing up. So, um, although in the Bible and in uh, Joyce Meyer's ser uh, sermons, she says that we shouldn't blame uh, what we're going through uh, on our parents. It should be on us because um, we, we have that choice to change it around. So, um, if we were treated, uh, you know... Um, differently while growing up uh, we have the choice now to change that around and to make our life happier and better uh, we don't have to follow in our parents footsteps we have that choice to make so um, that's basically what it's saying and then it has the introduction to the new living translation the bible um, and uh, and these are short little stories of uh, 31 men and women um, on how they served God, on how God used them to serve Him. So that's a good thing to read. So here it just explains uh, the, the New Living Translation, the how, you know, the simplicity of the Bible. And then it starts with the, uh, with the actual uh, first page. Oh, here we have uh, Bible Translation Team. So uh, I guess those are the people that uh, uh, participated in these books of the Bible, in the different passages of the Bible, I guess. And then it starts here with the Old Testament, which is uh, the Genesis. So it starts from the beginning of Genesis. And then here, on this section here of, uh, of every book, it tells you a little bit of Genesis, what you'll be reading about. And then you read it. And then you have these... Uh, dotted lines here to make notations or to put a prayer you can even draw if you want or put stickers on it whatever you want to do you go and stamp it uh, whatever you want to do this is for you so if you have a question like you're reading a passage and a question comes to mind just write it down then over here we have a little prayer it always starts the, the new book always starts with a prayer so we have a little prayer here then you read the passage and then over here it has a letter from God okay telling you uh, how he could help you and then you have reflection part here and then uh, something else down here I'm not sure what to call it uh, each of them has different uh, title to it so and then it tells you here to go to the next devotional reading and that's all it is and it starts from day one which is Genesis all the way to 365 days and every page has a new prayer and a new letter from God. So this is God writing to you, telling you how he could help you. And that's basically it. So it's a beautiful book. It's a beautiful Bible. Um, I hope that you go and check it out. Um, I, I plan to use it very well. I, I, I don't know how to do uh, Bible journaling yet or how to start it, but... Uh, I mean, I'll start it off. However, however I could start it, I'll start it. <laughs> but yeah, these are beautiful passages, a beautiful book. It even comes with a nice little uh, light blue ribbon here to mark where you left off. 
So, um, yeah. So give it a give it a shot. Oh, I like this. This is cute. Um, so yeah. So just give it a shot. If you haven't gotten a, yourself a Bible and you interested in this one, check out your local Barnes and Noble and see if they have it. If not, um, just go back to the beginning of the video where I show the ISBN number and you can order it. And that's it, guys. That was my purchase from uh, from me to me for Christmas. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and always supporting my channel. I want to wish you all a blessed and safe new year. Let's hope that this pandemic uh, uh, goes away finally and we could live our normal lives. Um, let's not also forget the ones that we've lost. Either our family, friends, celebrities as well. We've lost a lot of them uh, this year. Not only due to COVID but to other uh, illnesses and diseases and stuff like that. So um, let us pray for them as well. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments or any suggestions or tips for me on uh, how to do a Bible journaling, please leave it down below in the, in, uh, in the comments. And thank you again guys so much for watching. Have yourselves a blessed day, a blessed new year. Be safe and uh, let's make this new year the best ever. All right, guys, until the next video. Bye now.